Hello, my name is Henry R. Mockingbird, your host with the most. I'm Gary. And today we're going to review 1 million years BC. So let's go walk the dinosaur and look into 1 million years BC. 1 million years BC is about a caveman named Tumac who gets banned from his tribe and is found by a cave woman named Luana. He gets accepted into her tribe. They fall in love and have various encounters with dinosaurs. What do I think of this film? I think it's pretty good. Just like with the silent version of The Thief of Baghdad, the movie has a sort of campiness to it. First, let's talk about the characters. To be honest, there's not really that much to say about the characters. So I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to talk about, of course, Lon Chaney Jr., Universal's horror icon. Lon Chaney Jr. is probably best remembered for playing the Wolfman. Fun fact, Lon Chaney Jr. did his own makeup for this movie. And considering he wasn't allowed to do his makeup in later movies, it's a downright shame because he should have been. He would have been great at it. The cavemen speak in a language that was written specifically just for the movie. It looks like Luana got her dress from the same place Maureen O'Sullivan got hers. The movie also goes under various alternate titles including Caveman, Tumac, and Man and His Mate. <laughs> Movie pioneer D.W. Griffith was supposed to direct the film, but he walked off the set, mostly for the fact that both him and Hal Roach didn't exactly get along that great. Hal Roach is probably best remembered for making Laurel and Hardy films and the original Little Rascal films. He was nominated for two Academy Awards, including Best Musical Score and Best Special Effects. It's time for me to talk about the dinosaurs. Just like the dragon and the thief of Baghdad, most of the dinosaurs in this movie aren't exactly dinosaurs. But as cruel and as cheap as these effects are, I still say they still look better than most CGI does nowadays. Okay, there are some dinosaurs in this movie. There's a guy in a T-Rex suit. This is pretty much all that's left of the suit. It looks like the cousin of little T-Rex from Planet of the Dinosaurs. Another dinosaur is a pig in a Triceratops costume. And an elephant dressed up as a mammoth. How about Manny the Moody Mammoth? And there's an oversized iguana which Tumac fights. And then there's an armadillo with a horn glued to its head. And an oversized water monitor lizard. And I think it's Mr. Kipling's cousin. And then there's an oversized snake and an oversized coda. And then there's an alligator dressed up as a dinosaur. 
Now I know where Roger Corman got the idea for Super Gator. Both the crocodile and the tangu lizard have a huge fight scene, and you know what that means. Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? If any of the footage I shown of the fight looks familiar, well, well there's a good reason. That is because it was used as stock footage for several other more movies. I talked about most of the ups of the film. What are the downs of the film? Well, to be honest, viewers, I really don't have any problems with this movie. Well, but I do have to wonder... Who this woman is on the poster. Until the next review, this is Henry R. Mockingbird signing off. <laughs> I give the film five stars. Do not forget to comment down below, push like, and subscribe, and ring bell for new contact. If you like to request an old school movie on this show, please do so by requesting it in the comments.